some of the costs of war. 1.5 months of global military spending can feed all the world's hungry for one full year. The actual and projected costs of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan since 2001 could feed all of the world's hungry for 67 years. One year's cost of war in Africa could ensure that every African man, woman and child in need has lifelong access to clean water. The cost of having one U.S. soldier stationed in Afghanistan for one year can instead build 20 schools for Afghan children. The lost economic value due to Liberia's wars could have paid for the entire high school education of every person in the country and a solar cooking set for every household, plus furnish 70,000 villages across Africa with solar lighting, 20,000 water wells and 500 hospitals. One day of war in Iraq costs U.S. taxpayers 720 million U.S. dollars. One minute of war costs 500,000 US dollars. One second of war costs 8,300 US dollars. One month of global military spending can provide 3.6 billion children with a month's water, food, health care and education. African nations engaged in conflict experience 50% higher infant mortality. Two weeks of global military spending can secure water for life for 2.4 billion people. Weapons. One month of global weapons purchased at a cost of 108.3 billion US dollars can feed 95.7 million hungry children three wholesome and nutritious meals a day for 10 years. One year's cost of weapons imported to Africa can drill 56,000 drinking water wells. The cost of a single B-2 stealth bomber can serve 2.56 billion meals for the hungry, restore the sight of 31.4 million blind patients, remove 1 million explosive landmines, or build 713,000 new family homes. Not included herein are other war-related costs. Not included herein are emotional, psychological, physical, mental and spiritual costs. Advocacy of Peace The Baha'i Faith we exhorted all men, and particularly this people, through our wise counsels and loving admonitions, and forbade them to engage in sedition, quarrels, disputes, and conflict. As a result of this, and by the grace of God, waywardness and folly were changed into piety and understanding, and weapons converted into instruments of peace. Epistle to the Son of the Wolf We pray God exalted be his glory and cherish the hope that he may graciously assist the manifestations of affluence and power and the day springs of sovereignty and glory the kings of the earth may god aid them through his strengthening grace to establish peace this indeed is the greatest means for ensuring the tranquility of the nations it is incumbent upon the sovereigns of the world may god assist them unitedly to hold fast unto this peace which is a chief instrument for the protection of all mankind. Epistle to the Son of the Wolf. It is our hope that they will arise to achieve what will be conducive to the well-being of man. It is their duty to convene an all-inclusive assembly, which either they themselves or their ministers will attend, and to enforce whatever measures are required to establish unity and concord amongst men. They must put away the weapons of war, and turn to the instruments of universal reconstruction. Epistle to the Son of the Wolf Should one king rise up against another, all the other kings must arise to deter him. Arms and armaments will then be no more needed beyond that which is necessary to ensure the internal security of their respective countries. If they attain unto this all-surpassing blessing, the people of each nation will pursue 
with tranquility and contentment their own occupations, and the groanings and lamentations of most men would be silenced. Epistle to the Son of the Wolf Briefly, this wrong one hath, in the face of all that hath befallen him at their hands, and all that hath been said of him, endured patiently, and held his peace inasmuch as it is our purpose. Through the loving providence of God exalted, be his glory and his surpassing mercy, to abolish through the force of our utterance all disputes, war, and bloodshed from the face of the earth. Epistle to the Son of the Wolf The well-being of mankind, its peace and security, are unattainable unless and until its unity is firmly established. Gleanings from the writings of the Baha'i Yula. O contending peoples and kindreds of the earth, Set your faces towards unity, and let the radiance of its light shine upon you. Gather ye together, and for the sake of God, resolve to root out whatever is the source of contention amongst you. Promulgation of Universal Peace It is incumbent upon all the peoples of the world to reconcile their differences, and, with perfect unity and peace, abide beneath the shadow of the tree of His care and loving kindness gleanings from the writings of the Baha'u'llah. The world is in greatest need of international peace. Until it is established, mankind will not attain composure and tranquility. Promulgation of Universal Peace Today there is no greater glory for man than that of service in the cause of the most great peace. Peace is light, whereas war is darkness. Peace is life, war is death. Peace is guidance, war is error. Peace is the foundation of God, war is a satanic institution. Peace is the illumination of the world of humanity, war is the destroyer of human foundations. Promulgation of Universal Peace Bishnuism We should think before we speak, and our speech should be filtered off the impurities. For example, ego, lie, enmity, abuse, insult, criticism, bad intention, etc. Our speech should be polite, true, kind, sweet, and with positive intention, and it should not hurt others' feelings and sentiments. Principles of Bishnism Sometimes, due to anger and frustration, we speak badly to our loved ones and friends and colleagues, but afterwards we regret and lose our relationship and friendship. If we have said bad things to someone, then we should not take any time to say sorry and apologize to reduce the damage. In the future, we may not get chance to say sorry. Saying sorry does not reflect our weakness, but it shows our greatness. Principles of Bishnuism With good and sweet speech, we can make and win friends, relations, and customers. And with bad speech, we lose them. Sometimes we try to bully others, pass the buck to others, and make excuses to try to satisfy our ego, to hide our error or to prove our supremacy, but we never get good results out of it. Principles of Bishnism When we know that we are wrong and others are right, but with arguments we try to prove others wrong, that is very bad and people start avoiding us. Principles of Bishnuism Without listening to others, we try to prove ourselves right by debating. This is a major cause of health problems, of hypertension, high blood pressure, heart attack, stroke, and fighting. This increases jealousy, enmity, and decreases faith and trust and spoils relationship and friendship. Principles of Bishnism Great people will never argue, and that does not mean that they are weak. Principles of Bishnuism Buddhism. Whatever righteous gains the monk may obtain in a righteous way, even if only the alms in his bowl, he does not consume them alone. He consumes them after sharing them in common with his virtuous fellows in the holy life. This is a condition that is conducive to amiability, that engenders feelings of endearment, engenders feelings of respect, leading to a sense of fellowship, a lack of disputes, harmony, and a state of unity. Tipitaka. With reference to the virtues that are untorn, unbroken, unspotted, unsplattered, liberating, praised by the wise, 
untarnished, leading to concentration. The monk dwells with his virtue in tune with that of his fellows in the holy life, to their faces and behind their backs. This is a condition that is conductive to amiability, that engenders feelings of endearment, engenders feelings of respect, leading to a sense of fellowship, a lack of disputes, harmony, and a state of unity. Tipitaka. With reference to views that are noble, leading outward, that lead those who act in accordance with them to the right ending of suffering and stress, the monk dwells with his views in tune with those of his fellows in the holy life, to their faces and behind their backs. Tipitaka. All tremble at violence. Life is dear to all. Comparing others with oneself, one should neither kill nor cause others to kill. Dhammapada. Victory breeds hatred. The defeated live in pain. Happily, the peaceful live, giving up victory and defeat. Dhammapada. Whoever, seeking his own happiness, harms not with the rod other pleasure-loving beings, experiences happiness hereafter. Dhammapada. Speak not harshly to anyone. Those thus addressed will retort. Painful, indeed, is vindictive speech. Blows in exchange may bruise you. Dhammapada. If, like a cracked gong, you silence yourself, you have already attained Nibbana. No vindictiveness will be found in you. Nibbana means eternal bliss. Dhammapada. Noble and Brahmin, commoner and serf, none can evade and play the truant here. The impending doom overwhelms one and all. Here is no place for strife with elephants or chariots of war or infantry. Nay, nor for war or woven spell or curse, nor may finance avail to win the day. Tipitaka. Bu Shan Ki Hun. There isn't any legitimate reason, be it for ourselves or for our people, to cause harm to other races. Miraculous Takchun, Seven Mountain. Gao Dai. All sentient beings are children of the Divine Father. We must love, protect, and help one another as if we are kindred. The spiritual practice of the head of the Gao Dai religion. Eventually, everyone on earth is a disciple of God. All are decent and virtuous people who no longer covet power and wealth and bear no resentment and hatred. They know how to love and help one another. They know how to share the joy and hardship as if they are kinfolk. Every family is happy and contented. Every nation is in peace. The teachings of the head of the Gao Dai religion. Governing the right way brings peace, happiness, and contentment to all citizens. Educating with universal perspectives that cultivate individuals who work to benefit the entire society, to build love and erase hatred. God's Letter of Instructions to Humanity A family that is in a state of discord will never be at peace. Such family will have lots of troubles and arguments. A society that is in a state of discord means that it will be in a state of chaos, where there is no order, justice, and the strong oppresses the weak. The clever bullies the ignorant. The citizens will be in a state of confusion and rebellion. Guidelines of Spiritual Practice Christianity Salt is good, but if the salt have lost its saltness, wherewith will ye season it? Have salt in yourselves, and have peace one with another. Holy Bible. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. Holy Bible. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace, and things wherewith one may edify another. Holy Bible. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. Holy Bible. Wherefore receive ye one another, as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Holy Bible. I appeal to you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
that all of you agree with one another, so that there may be no divisions among you, and that you may be perfectly united in mind and thought. Holy Bible. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Holy Bible. Be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Holy Bible. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Holy Bible. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances. For to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. Holy Bible. With all lowliness and meekness, with longsuffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Holy Bible. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Holy Bible. And to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that they are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men, see that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Holy Bible. Flee the evil desires of youth, and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of pure heart. Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments, because you know they produce quarrels. Holy Bible. And the Lord's servant must not quarrel. Instead, he must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Those who oppose him he must gently instruct, in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth, and that they will come to their senses. Holy Bible. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Holy Bible. Let brotherly love continue. Holy Bible. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Holy Bible. Be turned from evil and do good. Make a search for peace, desiring it with all your heart. Holy Bible. But the gentle will have the earth for their heritage. They will take their delight in peace without measure. Holy Bible. Give attention to the good man, and take note of the upright, because the end of that man is peace. Holy Bible. I will give ear to the voice of the Lord, for he will say words of peace to his people and to his saints, but let them not go back to their foolish ways. Holy Bible. Great peace has lovers of your law. They have no cause for falling. Holy Bible. Dao Yu. To have peace, humanity must first be in harmony with the animals. 
Do not kill them to feed ourselves. Then there will be peace among humankind. Nam Phuc Phat Pagoda. The Essenes. In the reign of peace, there is neither hunger nor thirst, neither cold wind nor hot wind, neither old age nor death. In the reign of peace, both animals and men shall be undying, waters and plants shall be undrying, and the food of life shall be never failing. The Essene Gospel of Peace. And let the peace of both reign among the sons of men. Come to me, all that are weary, and that suffer in strife and affliction. For my peace will strengthen thee and comfort thee, for my peace is exceeding full of joy. Wherefore do I always greet thee after this manner? Peace be with thee. The Essene Gospel of Peace. And then wilt thou find peace also among thyselves. For the kingdom of the law is within thee. And return to thy brothers, give thy peace to them also. For happy are they that strive for peace. For they will find the peace of the Heavenly Father. And give to every one thy peace, even as I have given my peace unto thee. The Seen Gospel of Peace. Hinduism. Steadfastly the will must toil thereto, till efforts end in ease and thought has passed from thinking, shaking off all longings bred by dreams of fame and gain, shutting the doorways of the senses closed with watchful ward. So step by step it comes to gift of peace assured and heart assuaged, when the mind dwells self-wrapped and the soul broods cumberless. The Bhavaga Gita. Hua Hao Buddhism. Moreover, Buddha's mercy and compassion are very wide and deep. They are boundless, without discrimination of race, of social status, and are bestowed upon all living creatures. There is, therefore, no valid reason for us to do harm to other people only for our own sake or that of our fellow countrymen. On the contrary, we should have a spirit of concord, of indulgence, towards them, and we should make it our duty to help them in case of distress. The Teachings of Prophet Huang Fu Shuo War is a folly, indeed. Killing brings nothing in the end. Life is short, shorten it no further. Help each other to live longer. Put love for humanity first. Let not our opinion mar harmony. Illuminating the way. Human beings reside on the same planet. We should see each other as of one race, help each other to live happily. One should not bring harm to the life of others. A fair person does not separate according to colors, nor discriminate between rich and poor. Together in love and respect, thus never will there be wars and hostilities in life. Illuminating the Way 3 Try to create a peaceful world. Try to protect our human race. Practice universal compassion, here and now in this lifetime. Illuminating the Way Islam Take to forgiveness and enjoin good, and turn aside from the ignorant. Holy Quran And obey Allah and His Messenger, and do not quarrel. For then you will be weak in hearts, and your power will depart. And be patient. Surely Allah is with the patient. Holy Quran. And when they hear idle talk, they turn aside from it and say, We shall have our deeds, and you shall have your deeds. Peace be on you. Holy Quran. Do good to others, as Allah has done good to you. And do not seek to make mischief in the land. Surely, Allah does not love the mischief-makers. Holy Quran It may be that Allah will bring about friendship between you and those whom you hold to be your enemies among them. And Allah is powerful. And Allah is forgiving, merciful. Holy Quran Jainism He who is quarrelsome and talks improperly is not impartial nor beyond the reach of deceit. 
But he who executes the commands of his teacher and controls himself sees nothing but the truth and is exempt from deceit. The Sutra Kritanga Sutra Not desiring honor or fame, he should say nothing to anybody either to please or to irritate him. Avoiding all evils, a monk should without embarrassment and passion preach the law. The Sutra Kritanga Sutra Toward your fellow creatures, be not hostile. That is the law of him who is rich in control. He who is rich in control renounces everything and in this world meditates on the reflections on life. The Sutra Kritanga Sutra Knowing the incomparable control, he should not be hostile toward anybody in thoughts, words, or deeds, having eyes to see everything. The Sutra Katanga Sutra Moism It is not that there is no peaceful abode, but that I have no peaceful heart over others' homelessness. It is not that my wealth is not sufficient, but that my passion yearns for more to improve others' conditions. The Book of Muatsu If the rulers now really desire gain and avert loss, desire security and avert danger, they cannot but condemn offensive wars. The Book of Motsu. Sangha of the Bhikkhu Buddhist Association Human beings divided themselves into groups, class, societies, families and individuals. As a result, the calamity of wars occur. Book of Truth Sikhism Peace in this world, peace in the next world, and peace forever. Remembering him in meditation. Sri Guru Granth Sahib Searching and searching, I have come to this realization. All peace and bliss are in the name of the Lord. Sri Guru Granth Sahib Collecting the poison of Maya, people think of all sorts of evil. But peace is found only by vibrating and meditating on the Lord. With the saints and the Sangat, the Society of the Saints, meet the true Guru, the Holy Guru. Sri Guru Granth Sahib Taoism Sages in dealing with others do not wound them, and they who do not wound others cannot be wounded by them. Only he whom others do not injure is able to welcome and meet men. Chuang Tzu To keep from being entangled by prevailing customs, to shun all ornamental attractions in oneself, not to be reckless in his conduct to others, not to set himself stubbornly against the multitude, to desire the peace and repose of the world in order to preserve the lives of the people. Chuang Tzu Tibetan Buddhism Maintaining harmony with people is a great merit. 60 Songs of Milarepa Universal White Brotherhood The first fruit of this seed is love, that is to reign among all people, independently of their faith and nationality. They have to go higher than their own home, society, and nation. Love shall encompass the whole humankind, because we are all its members. It is one living organism, and when it feels good, it will be the same for the nation, for the society, for the home, for an individual too, and vice versa. The Universal Love In the divine law of love, there is no disharmony. When we realize love is such a power, it will inspire us. Then we will be strong enough to correct all social defects, not in a mechanical manner, but through love. When society directs its love to someone, it will change his mind and provide a direction in his life. The Universal Love All these fingers must be united and to work together until the society, the politicians, the people of culture, and the people of spirit are disintegrated. They cannot create that effect which is produced by the hand uniting all its fingers together in order to work. The Universal Love until you do not understand each other and revenge to each other, 
until you do not love each other and you are not ready to sacrifice for each other. You will not be free, neither as individuals nor as a society, neither as a nation nor as mankind. The Universal Love When you embrace somebody like a brother, projecting your love and good thoughts, you would introduce life in him. The Universal Love Teach yourselves and your neighbors to bend hands and to embrace with love and wisdom. Only in this way, individuals, families, and the society as a whole will be improved in political, cultural, and spiritual aspect. The Universal Love For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash w-o-w dash scrolls.